Hi, I'm George Cox, production coordinator for Acton TV and guest host for Business Matters for the Middlesex West Chamber of Commerce. My in-studio guest is one of my favorite people, Pam Fletcher, marketing director of Neshoba Valley Ski Area in Westford. Pam, welcome to Acton TV. Oh, it's great to be here, George. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so you have so many things. Not only is Neshoba Valley Ski Area in Westford one of the premier ski resorts and snowboarding resorts, but you also have all kinds of events going on in the summer. So It's been fun. You know, we've been creative with what we have to work with at Neshoba Valley Ski Area, and we created the Sunset Tiki Bar and Grill at the base of our snowmaking pond. And it's a really fun island style, festive atmosphere. There's great food, great tropical drinks. The kids can come and swim until dusk. You can hear live entertainment out on the beach. I mean, we have a lot going on, George, and it's fun because you can check out on our band list on sunsettiki.com all the different forms of entertainment that we have in the evening, including one of your favorites that we do on Tuesday night, karaoke. Oh, everyone who knows me knows I love karaoke. <laughs> and what's it like just, you joined the chamber about a year ago. What's it like just being involved in the chamber? Because I know you hosted a few events for the Middlesex West Chamber. Well, we have. We have hosted a few little mixers and stuff, and it's great because it brings businesses together. You get a chance to network, and you really get a chance to, you know, understand who are the different members in the community, how they can work together, how you can cross promote sometimes. So it is a great opportunity if you haven't been a member of the chamber to join a chamber because that way you do get in touch with who's also in your community and working around you. And we entered in the Taste of Middlesex last year as uh, we had a booth at Presence and we entered as the Outlook Restaurant, one of our businesses at Neshoba Valley Ski Area that has fine dining and specializes in steak and seafood. And we entered a cocktail, and our, our cocktail that won was the Autumn Sangria, and it won Best Beverage for Taste of Middlesex, and we were very proud of that. And if anybody at home hasn't tried one of the Outlook's um, sangrias, it's delicious, because I think I had three of them that night. It was <laughs> really good. And the Taste of Middlesex is coming up in November, so we're very excited about that. Now, you, um, you had this man-made lake there. You host corporate functions. Tell us what, what's that? What is that all about? Well, so the Sunset Tiki Bar and Grill can be um, obtained privately. You can rent it out for a private event. We do events from 75 adults and children up to uh, 1,500 people we've had at one point. Right? It was just crazy fun. But there's volleyball courts because we have a volleyball league that plays all summer long. So during the daytime, a corporate outing has access to up to 15 courts for play. We have multiple sets of tailgate toss and ladder ball, and we also have corn, well, cornhole is tailgate toss, and we have horseshoes and tether ball and tropical drinks. You know, we also won many best beverage awards for some of our tropical drinks at the Tiki Bar as well. And then we feature everything from lobsters to steamers, burgers and dogs. I mean, we, we have it all in terms of different types of food that we can offer a company for an outing. So it's a great place where you can go and come and have some activities on the water, be able to bring in a band and listen to live entertainment outside. And then in the evening when we're operational to the public from 5 to 1 a.m. Monday through Saturday, we also can host corporate events. We can't host as big, but we can still do up to 250 people in one of our event tents for a corporate outing. And it, it's just a different type of a place to go for an outing. I, I really don't know of any island style outside atmosphere where you can have all those games, have all those activities, and bring in your own fun too. We've had people bring in paddle boards and kayaks. We've done fishing there. They've done inflatables and obstacle courses and mechanical sharks. Boy, George, <laughs> you'd like the mechanical shark. <laughs> what I like about the Tiki too is it's in the middle of Westford and a lot of people maybe can't afford to go away on a tropical vacation. Well, it's always a tropical vacation at the Tiki Bar in Westford. Well, it's so, a little bit of a stay vacation. I yeah. mean, so like you could take your kids out, just do a little family outing and just go for a swim and have a nice bite. You know, they, they, they've just really done a nice job with the atmosphere and the food. You know, pizza is a big thing for us right now. We, we put in another pizza oven and they, you know, they hand do the dough and, um, you know, nothing screams summer like steamers and lobster on the beach. I mean, I, I just love, I love being outside so that 
and everything that you could possibly think of like barbecue style you know we've got a lot of different options like wings and ribs and really fabulous burgers and it's it's just been fun and, and those cocktails you know they make them with very fresh ingredients they try to really step up the performance of the cocktail. I, I don't think I've ever had like a, a tropical drink called a Wai Tai, which was created by one of our staff members. And you know, it also won a beverage award. And the same with our sangria that's out there on the beach. And they really take pride in using quality ingredients and fresh ingredients and local ingredients. And I think that that's, it's kind of fun. It's fun to have a it's fun to sell fun, you know? It's fun to be out there having fun and, and, and watching other people have fun at a wonderful place. You know, and you have some great bartenders, so I would want to call them mixologists because they're making all these great drinks, which is awesome. And um, you have a big event coming up called the Blues and Brews, so tell everybody about that. Well, Blues and Brews is the weekend of August 19th and 20th, and it's a really nice event because we raise money for the Westford Charities. So the R Westford Rotary, puts on an event and there's a lot of different charities that the Westford Rotary is involved with. We help provide staff and we're very much involved with the event itself, but it's usually those volunteers from the Westford Rotary that do everything that pull together all these fabulous bands, pull together all the beer and um, the different brew vendors that we have for tastings and the setup and it, it takes a big army of people to put something like that together but it, it really is a wonderful weekend because you can even bring the kids they can't have any of the tastings but you can bring the kids along and and there's there's act, little activities and things like that and vendors that you can go check out but I think the experience all in all with the quality of the bands that they bring to this event is really spectacular. They've had some great headliners over the years at Blues and Brews. You know, what was really great about that too is like you br it's like you set up this huge stage where the ski area is in the winter and people can walk around, they can check out the music, then they go to the other side and they can drink all the beers and check out the different craft beers, which are very popular right now. Oh, know. it's awesome. And they mow the, the area, you know, so there's grass and people lay out their blankets and they bring their chairs and they sit up on the slope side and they have a fabulous view. And it's nice because the music kind of radiates up the mountain and, and it's just a excellent atmosphere to provide for such a fun group of very talented artists. I, I think I bought more CDs last year than I know what to do with because it, every band that would come on, it was just kept getting better and better. You know, it was terrific. And um, we were there last year, Acton TV, and I was with Pam and we sampled some of the craft beers. And I just wanted to show people some highlights from last year. And then when we come back, we're gonna talk more with Pam Fletcher, so stay tuned. George, for Talk of the Town, we are here at Neshoba Valley Ski Area in Westward at the Blues and Brews Summerfest with Pam Fletcher. Tell us what's going on today. Well, you know, it's Blues and Brews. It's a way to raise money for the Westford Rotary and have a really good time. They donate a lot of their proceeds to charity. And the music, the blues, the brews, everything is fantastic here at Neshoba Valley today. Beautiful weather. Get on down if you've never been before. You can always try it out next year. So we had a chance to talk to some of the vendors, some of the bands. Stay tuned. Well, I got to tell you, you got people on their feet. They were smiling. They were dancing. And what do you think about this event, Blues this and This is beautiful. I, it was my first time here. And look at all the people. They stayed. They stuck through the rain. And that made it so positive because I was standing on the stage, and I didn't think they were going to stay, stay here. And... They went to the tents and some people were just dancing in the rain because uh, Diana and I really wanted to watch uh, uh, Joe Lewis. That's one of my heroes. I call him my big brother, you know. <laughs> so I uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to go home because I was telling John, the promoter, I was telling them that I, I don't like getting free money. And most musicians, well, I ain't gonna say most, but some of them like to get free money. Like, oh, I just got free check. Me. I cry inside when I can't get up there and dance and do my thing. Well, I'll tell you what, you were dancing, oh, you we were moving, you time. had people on their feet, and that's what Blues and Brews is all that's about. That's what it's about. Good time, good brews, and good people. And how do you, um, how does it feel just being a part here of the Blues and Brews at Neshoba Valley Ski Area? Great scene today, really great scene today. We had a little bit of rain earlier, kind of brought everyone together, sun came back out, warmed it back up. It's really been a, it's been a pleasure. And um, where is Rising Tide available here in New England? Rising Tide is based out of Portland, Maine, uh, but we're available in uh, Maine, New Hampshire, and Massachusetts. 
Excellent. So we're going to be back with more footage of the Blues and Brews at Neshoba Valley Ski Area, and we're going to have some of this great beer. Chris, cheers. As you can see, we had a blast last year at Blues and Brews. <laughs> and if you want more information about tickets, schedules, visit skinashoba.com. So we're back with Pam Fletcher, and you have a paint night going on with Sue Marion. Tell us, tell us about her. Well, she's a local artist from Groton. She's actually done some pretty cool murals at the ski area itself. There's one inside the base lodge, like it's a reflection of the mountain at night. And then there's one at the Tiki Bar itself, which is a tropical island scene that when the bands are up there playing, they look like they're standing on a beach somewhere in the tropics. It's really spectacular. So she's going to have a small canvas each week of a tropical thing. This, the first one is August 1st, and it's going to be of a hibiscus flower. And included in the price are all the materials, your canvas that you get to take home, a glass of wine and a fun time with Sue Marion and she's a wonderful teacher. She will provide free instruction. You don't need any experience necessary and we think it'll be kind of fun. It's going to be repetitive every Tuesday night throughout the summer as the Tiki Bar is open and we hope it'll draw some interested people and I'm I'm excited. I'm going to go August 1st. So what time does that start? It starts at 630. It goes from 6 o'clock to 830. Excuse me. And that's every Tuesday, so 6 to 8.30. And like I said, no experience necessary. And she provides wonderful instruction and pointers. And, you know, so get that creative side <laughs> and go Tiki Tuesday. So Tiki Tuesday, night. you can do paint night. Then at 8.30, they're going to do karaoke so you can sing some share. You know, you've got everything <laughs> covered there, folks. It's fun. And speaking of fun, you've got Witch's Woods coming up, and it starts on Friday, September 29th. Tell us about Witch's Woods. Oh, Witch's Woods has many different attractions. We have seven now with, with all of our things that we have going on. Our, our most premier attraction that we were very excited that we added last year was Vampire Passage. And the reason that that, so that actual attraction is very interesting is that you are walking in the woods. You're not on a hayride. We have New England's longest hayride, which is very exciting, but there's a perspective difference when you're walking in the woods and you actually can see out through into the woods and it's eerie and dark and you don't know what's going to come out from where and it's pretty exciting stuff. We had a lot of fun with it last year, but with all the seven, you know, we have Nightmare Mansion, we have Castle Morbid, we have the 3D Keeper's Crypt, which all you wear 3D glasses and the paint on the characters and, and they pop out at you as well. It, each of the attractions are very unique and very different in their own way. I think Nightmare Mansion probably spooks me the most because you are really in the dark. So if you want more information about everything that we talked about today, visit skinashoba.com. And if you want more information about Witches Woods, it's witcheswoods.com. And we're going to end with Pam. Get a shot of Pam. Look into the camera, Pam, as she transforms into Ghoul of the Vampire. We'll be back with our next guest, Mrs. Matters. Stop.